back to another episode of Manny Things. Thank you for checking out the video. I highly and greatly appreciate your viewership. Today, we are actually going over a product I've been testing since December now. Here we are, guys. We're going to check out the extended plus five mag extension from Continuous Precision. Now, you'll ask Manny, why'd you get the Continuous Precision when there's other factors on the market? Well, guys, Continuous Precision is kind of local to me. They're over in the Detroit area. So I was like, okay, cool. I had one of their products in the past. It's their Continuous Precision Enhanced Duty Trigger, but that'll be for another video. So I was like, okay, they're coming out with these mag extensions. I saw them teased since the summer. And I'm like, all right, I'll pick these up. These released on Black Friday weekend of 2020. So I picked up three on the first run and then I ordered two more, so I had a full set of five for my match mags for uh, USPSA carry optics division. And these do fit the gauge. They're actually smaller than like a Magpul uh, PMAG 21 rounder that does fit the gauge quite perfectly, honestly, because I had that gauged and then I compared the, the two mags that I had and this is well in the gauge, guy. It's only a plus five on the nine millimeter, so no big deal. It also is a plus four for 40. So if you got that, it'd be perfect for 40. You don't get a plus four though, so no big deal if you're um, a limited guy shooting uh, a Glock and limited, no big deal. But guys, this is a pretty cool product. It's nice and chamfered to grab it right in decks like so. It's got little ribs to help you grip a little bit better. Um, it has a hold back retention screw right there. Uh, it's very small. Use a two millimeter Allen head to tighten it and take it off. Simple, easy to take on and off. Not ideal really at the range, but it can be done. Now we're going to actually watch me do a part of installing one of these on the stock mags all right guys we're going to show you how to successfully install your continuous precision plus five base plate for the glock 17 mags so right here i've got a gen 5 glock 17 mag um, it happens to have a gen 4 base plate on it because i took the base plate off the mag extension off to show you how to do this so simply enough we are going to then take our punch Drive it down, push the base plate out of the way, like such, and pry forward. I've done this a couple times, finally figured it out. Okay, then remove the cap, or the base plate cap, take the floor plate out, we have our spring and follower right here. It's pretty simple, we're going to then snap the stock spring off, take that away, and grab our plus power spring that came with our mag extension, and put that on the follower. Place back into the magazine, so I'm going to take this right here, Take it and sometimes it's even easy to what I find is to cup the spring in the the base pad itself already and then we're going to simply drive it on there like so see it's going on straight as you can see simple and we're just gonna push all the way back and it's on there and that's kind of like the most successful way to install this um, since this is already pre-installed this already had blue Loctite on it from myself I applied it before when putting on but we're gonna put it back because it held great so we're just gonna take it with our two millimeter wrench um, allen key that i've had i used the ball end and then i'm going to just tighten it to hand tight with and it's already there with that so now that's successfully installed guys um that's pretty simple and easy it's the most effective way i've found and then take that lock it open see nothing in the chamber close it now i'm going to rack the slide and see if the slide stays open and locked back because of spring tension which it does which is excellent so there we have it guys simple install on this mag extension from continuous precision this is their plus five for they've got glock 17 full-size mags 19 mags and they even offer a plus five for the shield mag called g43x and g48 now as you can see super simple install as i stated now let's go back down to the tabletop and watch me load this 22 reloadable magazine for your carry optics gun. Now here guys, I'm going to show you the capacity on this magazine extension and mag now that it has the continuous precision plus five base plate on it. Uh, Glock 17 mag, so stock of 17 plus five is 22 that they say. And I have found that you can get 22 rounds reloadable. And that's the important part is that it's a reloadable 22 round mag. There's some magazine extensions on the market that say they can get 23, maybe even 24 rounds in there. Um, but uh, they're not really reloadable. Maybe if it's after really worn spring, you might be able to get that 23 reloadable. But 
This is a 22 reloadable as they advertise, so we're gonna take our Maglula with our Range Panda flexible key tag on it because identification on the range is important. I'm going to take it and start loading. As you can see, we've got 22 bullets right here in the tray. So we're just gonna go until we run out of bolts. And super simple with our mag loader. I highly recommend these guys. There's gonna be a link down in the description to go pick yourself up a Maglula Uplula from their website because they do not sell on Amazon. There are counterfeits on Amazon, so you can buy a counterfeit if you like, but I think you need this loader if you're gonna load magazines at all. So we got 20, 21, 22 is snug like it should be. Boom. These are not live rounds, guys. I'm gonna show you that right here. These are dummy rounds I've made from my press. See, there's no primer and no powder in those. So this is gonna be totally safe to put into the Glock 17 right here. I sit on the table, I'm gonna take it, boom. Easily with a mag in there with the slide closed. That like I said, guys, I tested these extensively. A lot of dry fire, like I said, from December till now or mid-February as of the recording of this video. So that's a lot of dry fire, guys. A lot of drops, a lot of reloads. Um, I will say the first, one of them that I use a lot gets pretty scuffed up. The anodizing holds up fairly well, though. Kind of battle-worn, but maybe have a better little bit of a finish but that's just being nitpicky and but i'm going to train with it I really hope you guys check out this product this thing goes for like 39.98 or something 95 something on their website i got these all on a sale um their black friday sale and then they had an end of the year sale in um, december that i picked up the last two on so i got i saved some money but i am no way affiliated with continuous precision or their products i kind of like their products guys so i do like to shout them out for the most part so go ahead and check them out um i'll put a Right down here, it's going to be cpcustomguns.com. It's also going to be a link in the description below, so don't worry if you can't buy any guns from them. So it's okay, YouTube. The link's okay. Until next time, guys, remember, get out and do the things.